All right, l- l- let's talk about your habits at home in the bedroom and in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking about yeah. your washing habits. Do you reuse a towel in the bathroom? I do. I do too. Do you reuse a washcloth that you used in the morning later that day? I don't use washcloths, but wow. no. Not if there's makeup all over it. Your sans washcloth? I use the makeup wipes. <laughs> and then huh. like we have like one oh. towel to dry my face. So, like I use half of a washcloth in the morning, and then I flip it and use the other half in the evening oh, smart. for my face. Yeah. Well, you're not Good struck scrub. by that. Fine. Sure. Okay. That was a great little hack. Everyone has, does their own makeup thing. Wipe. What about your sheets? I use a makeup and wipe. What is, what, what is like appropriate, and what is people's average when they wash their sheets? When do you wash your sheets? Once a week. I wash my sheets once a week, but that's like... I think I I remember the date because I was so embarrassed. It was like 2015 and I had just started on the show. And like we were talking about it, it was like every two weeks. And you guys were like, ew. And I was like, this just went to my core because you are so clean to me. Like you are clean and pristine. And when I found out when you said two weeks, I was shook. Well, tell me what are people on average doing? Where should we be? So the average um, is is once a week. That's what you should be doing. But there was this survey done. 2,000 adults were asked how often they wash their sheets. One out of three people said once a year. Once a down. year. I'm not down. Think of no, games. that's One not okay. One out of three. If you got a dog. And that's like, yes, 30-something 30 per, 30 percent of people said that, they, they wash their sheets once impossible. a year. That's got to no. be college kids. That's got to be, sorry, no offense, college dudes. Um, I mean, <laughs> Right. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Look, I mean, mine is driven by convenience, and you know, is did Georgia sleep in my bed and slobber last night? Like that would uh, get me to wash the sheets. But if it's like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of me sleeping in my little corner and the bed's half made still in the morning, yeah, not yeah, much work needs to be done there. I think so too. Come to think of it. I think I washed my sheets twice a year in college because I slept in the sleeping porch and it was always dark and and quiet and so you couldn't just go you in there outside? and change your sheets. A sleeping porch? No, it was like a, a porch? A sleeping porch. It was like a room with just all bunk beds and it was always really dark. All the lights were off and it was always um, air conditioned. So it was just we all slept in there. We didn't sleep in our rooms. Where? I'm really <laughs> lost. <by that>. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I changed my room? sheets what? once a semester in the f- first semester, and then people, I would change them second semester. Did you rotate semester. your sleep bed? On no, the you slept in the same bed. You always you had the same bed, but, but you, I just never changed my. Room? I think I changed my sheets once a year. It seems so strange as an adult. Yeah, it does to me too. It. So I agree with you, Sisney. <laughs> Tubbs, how often I like to get your perspective on this. How often do you think you wash your sheets at home? How many people were in the room? <laughs> Probably not like in thirty. Not often enough, but about two to three weeks to a month ish. So a month ish, really. <laughs> I need to go back to Tanya's thirty people in a room. Yeah, it doesn't sound right, Tanya. Situation. It really doesn't. Do we need to call your family? Would you guys hook up with guys? Like how? They, I'm assuming no, you never no brought boys home a allowed. Guy. <laughs> Oh, God. No boys allowed in the sleeping porch, but sometimes people would sneak their boyfriends in, but you're supposed to have nobody in the sleeping porches. But yeah, there was like 30 of us. So it was like 15 bunk beds just all right next to each other. Hmm. How and many you years heard all the noises? <laughs> yeah, I did this for three years in my sorority house. How have we never three uncovered years? this nugget? Three this may years. explain a lot. <laughs> I mean, this is a defining this, moment of your history. It really is. And those were like defining years of like growing up and becoming an adult and like all no this and that. You and don't whatever. like being alone ever and you always want us around because yeah. you yeah. live on a sleeping makes, porch. Because you slept yeah, with 30 slept people with, every night. Yes. Like, every the heck, night, man. Socrates better hear this. <laughs> <laughs> to know. I'm dying. I'm literally crying over this. I cannot believe for three years you slept with this many women in a room. I. <laughs> fascinating. Yeah. But it's. I know. Def- it tells. It informs us now. Now it informs. My dad. Us when my what? dad. When my dad saw it, he said it reminded him of when he was in the army. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's take a break.